Leave Jennifer Aniston alone, according to what she wrote in the Huffington Post. She went on there after people had taken photos of her, looking, I guess, uh, unflattering, according to some people on Twitter. And she said, that's enough, I've had it. She doesn't have an Instagram, she doesn't do that kind of stuff. So she went to the Huffington Post and wrote things like, for the record, I am not pregnant. What I am is fed up. I'm fed up with the sport-like scrutiny and body shaming that occurs daily under the guise of journalism, the First Amendment, and celebrity news. The objectification and scrutiny we put women through is absurd and disturbing. This past month in particular has illuminated for me how much we define a woman's value based on her mar marital and maternal status. The sheer amount of resources being spent right now by the press trying to simply uncover whether or not I am pregnant for the bajillionth time, but who's counting, points to the perpetuation of this notion that women are somehow incomplete, unsuccessful, or unhappy if they're not married with children. We are complete with or without a mate. Thoughts, five words or less. Crushed it. Yes, Jen, finally. How you doing? Oh. <laughs> Which is a reference to the television show Friends. I haven't heard of that show. Was oh, it good? Matt LeBlanc. Oh. Um, Wait, are you being serious? I'm, no, I'm okay, 100%. Okay. I, was like, what that? I, I was like, we need to pause this segment real quick. Right? <laughs> did they have it in Belgium? She's from Belgium. Yeah, we, we did. It did come, it did come yeah. over. Yeah. But the, yeah, I am. Was that another joke? No, it's true. Okay. No, that's real. That's, that's okay. I, I get that a lot. We're like, she's kidding. It'd be a weird joke, right? Wouldn't that be like a bizarre, like, I'm from Belgium, you know, the like, What a random joke. Chloe Lukasiak, question for you. You said she crushed it. How did she crush it? Just like her answer is just everything. I know, if, I mean, on no levels my Jennifer Aniston, but I know that how people can say things that aren't exactly true, and she just crushed that answer. Yeah, she's she so right. I mean, you can't disagree that people have spent so many resources. Like, why do they want her to be right. pregnant? Like, no. And I would also, so I said finally in my five words or less because I have been kind of waiting for a response from Jen for a while. Not that she owes it to us, but you see her in the tabloids. Her life is always being speculated about in, in a very unfair way. And I've kind of been waiting for her to just take the mic back and just say once and for all, none. this isn't true. It doesn't matter. And if it was true, like she says, I would let you guys know. I do, you know, she says that she, you know, she cares about her fans. She cares about people that support her work. But this this sort of journalism is not supporting her. And I think sometimes people buy those tabloid magazines when you're at the grocery store or whatnot, and you think that, oh, I care about Jen, I care about what she's doing, so this is a good way to keep up with her because she is so private. And I like that she took back the narrative and said, this isn't a way to keep up with me. I'll let you guys know, this isn't important. We need to give women um, a little bit more credit about what they are worth, because it's not limited to how they are measured in regards to being uh, something that belongs to a man or someone that bears children. She's so much more than that. Maybe that's something that she, wa that she wants one day, but we can't just relegate her to only that. Yeah, it's right. so weird that we just kind of, a lot of people don't even think about what they're doing. They don't mm. think they're doing anything wrong when they're like, ooh, that was a weird dress, or like, ooh, strange <laughs> shoes, why are you doing that? Are your shoes yeah. pregnant? I feel like people sometimes forget that like, they're humans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they can hear what you're saying. Like, <laughs> like who cares if they wore like that dress that maybe made her from that angle that you're looking at her look a little unflattering? Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. How is that affecting your life in any way? And I saw the photo, and it's like, is there a photo? There's a photo of it of that she they're talking about like that sparked the is she pregnant rumor. Mm -hmm. She's in a bikini. Dongo. She probably just had lunch. <laughs> yeah, if she, yeah. If she's pregnant, I'm having twins. Like that is. <laughs> That is what it looked like. It was just like a weird angle. I, I, I don't know. At the end of the day, we all just need to take a step back and realize that, yes, these are people. And I'm glad that we didn't have like this level of stuff. Imagine if there was like a bunch of social media during the time when Angie stepped into the picture and took Brad. Oh my god. Remember that when yeah. Mr. Well, and Mrs. Smith came you out? You still hear about that on tabloids. You'll, you'll still see when I'm at the grocery store, and I it, it's got to have been close to a decade after this happened, where I'll see Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, and Jennifer Aniston, and three people that I would consider kind of above that. You know, just uh, because they're not really on social media, they're above trying to insert themselves in the public discourse in that way. And there are absolutely celebrities that are interested in that sort of medium, and that's okay, but they're not. And this happened 10 years ago. And it'll be like, I it's Brad well, leaving. Like a dozen yeah. years ago. Brad's leaving Angelina for like Jen's big mistake. I'm like, oh my Jen's God. Jen's like dated a bunch of different people since then. Because I read history. those. Um, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> all right, guys, give us your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, Chloe, can anyone like vote for you for any like awards that are coming up, and I, how? I mean, like, yeah, I think for like Teen Choice Awards, for Choice I heard Dancer. About this too. Heard. Yeah, mm -hmm. crazy, right? How would I do something like that? Okay, so. Want to know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you would go on the Fox Now app, and you can vote there, mm -hmm. or you can go to TeenChoice.com. Can you go on Twitter? You can go on Twitter. Whoa. You, I, can, can I you, just throw a guess out here? Yeah, why don't you? Would it be going to hashtag Teen Choice Awards, hashtag Choice Dancer, at Chloe Lukasiak? Oh, what? She's Grace. Yes, Grace. Grace is some kind of psychic. Yes, she you is. You go vote right now, or we're not friends, and we'll find a way to unsubscribe you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Give us your thoughts on the story in the comment section. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.